writing a 500 word statement of purpose or personal statement is way more challenging than writing a longer essay. So in this video, I'm gonna live edit an essay that was sent to me that was about 100 words too long and show you what I cut and explain why, and you can apply that to your own writing. You can also download a PDF version of this essay and my other sample essays when you sign up for my newsletter. First, we're gonna see how long this is. It is 595 words, so about 95 words too long. In first grade, I was thrown into ESL classes because it was assumed English was not my primary language. I faced many challenges as a Korean American woman growing up in predominantly white communities in Florida and Pennsylvania. This right here can be deleted. It's an extra detail that's nice, but not necessary. In my early education, I never saw myself reflected in anyone at my school. I did not look like any of my teachers, classmates, or the students I rode the bus with. This is again, a little extra detail than is needed. I would maybe delete this and just say, or classmates and get rid of this. At such a young age, this feeling of otherness created barriers to my academic success and ultimately hindered my belief in what I could achieve. So here, these are kind of what I call filler words. You don't need such, the sentence stands without it, at a young age. Instead of being challenged to read above my grade level like the other students, teachers assumed I was incompetent and placed me in a separate classroom with the computer as my instructor. This is a, additionally another detail that could possibly de be deleted. I might go back at the end and if there's enough words, keep it in. But for right now, I'm just gonna delete it as a suggestion because the sentence could still stand without it. Instead of being challenged like the other students, teachers assumed I was incompetent. So here, there's less of a detail about being challenged to read and just being challenged generally. I second guess myself in classes and the perceptions others hold of me began to shape the way I viewed myself. A couple things in this sentence here. We could eliminate this and just start the sentence from the perceptions. Something I notice in a lot of student writing is overly using clauses like this. So starting out your sentence with a clause where you can just jump right into it. The sentence is still strong on its own. The perceptions others hold of me began to shape the way I viewed myself. That on its own stands without I second guess myself. So began to shape. This is just overly wordy and you don't need it. You can just say, shaped and now you just cut out a couple words this is a bit of an introductory clause that isn't really needed many of these kinds of opening clauses can be deleted so watch out for them you could just jump straight into it i found alternative avenues to be successful in school and at work i discovered the importance of collaborating with my peers and working in my community here there's two ideas that are a bit repetitive collaborating with my peers and working in my community, but they both represent the same idea, collaboration. So I would just delete one of them and the point still comes across. I discovered the importance of working in my community. As the project manager for ASCE, American Society of Civil Engineers Seismic Outreach at UCLA, I created and taught civil engineering curriculum to middle school students. So a couple things. If the name or title of the thing is not going to be really recognized or relevant, you can delete the tit like long titles and instead just tell the person what it was, like um, a club on seismic outreach. You know, that's going to be more recognizable than saying the whole mouthful of this. So I might just delete this entirely and say, um, you know, seismic outreach at UCLA, and there'll be more of a description of this in the person's resume. In here, curriculum is actually, the plural is curricula. During one of the programs, I met Jamal. He was a disruptive student who made inappropriate comments during class. Jamal was used to getting attention through disruption. He exceeded punishment, but what I gave him was friendship. So here, um, I see a couple spots where we can cut down a little bit and still have the idea come across. The main point is that, um, you know, Jamal was disruptive and this person became his friend in spite of that. So that's the main point. We don't need all the extra details. So instead of saying during one of the programs, we can just say during the program. And we could actually make this into a single sentence. We can say, I met Jamal, a disruptive student. And we actually, we don't really need these extra details about Jamal. We just need to know he was a disruptive student. And then this is a great sentence. He expected punishment, but I gave him was friendship. And we can see that we still get to that point. We just get there a little bit more quickly. I learned that he struggled in his math classes and hesitated to ask questions. 
So here we don't need to say his. We, we can just say he struggled in math classes. Jamal had never heard of a structural engineer and had no one in his family who were engineers. It became clear to me that he did not have access to resources to be successful in these classes. Here we have two ideas that are basically saying the same thing. He's never heard of a structural engineer and he has no one in his family who were engineers. The point stands on its own with just the beginning part of this sentence because you know he hasn't been exposed to engineers we don't need another example of how he hasn't been exposed to engineers so we can just say the first part and move on it became clear to me that he did not have access to resources to be successful in these classes i told jamal that his creative and direct mind added value to our classroom my confidence in jamal made him confident in himself at the final completion day jamal told me that he wants to be a structural engineer when he goes to college in all the ways that my teachers did not believe in me, I converted those experiences to empower and believe in Jamal. This is pretty good. I would maybe cut this right here. While working full-time in construction, I continued my commitment to supporting more students of color, entering STEM fields, volunteering with high school students in Oakland, California. As a mentor with ACE Mentors, I have seen how important it is for young people to see and engage with professionals in positions their parents or people in the community may not hold. This you can cut down so you're not saying mentor twice, like maybe you can say being an ace mentor and then on your resume it would have a section, you know, where it says what ace mentors is or alternatively you can say something like um, as a mentor and just not mention the program because it's not like they really need to know the name of that kind of thing. So either option works. In all my experience, I learned that exposure and visibility is paramount to a child's potential and their belief in what they can achieve. The experiences that I gathered during my early education have inspired me to share that knowledge and increase access to young girls and boys. Students cannot be what they cannot see. I want to be someone that students can see and empower them to believe that they can also be an engineer. Students should know that the STEM field is accessible regardless of the past academic trauma or the structural barriers to education in their communities. The next step for me is to pave my own path to higher education. In spite of the barriers I faced in my early education and continue to face today as the only woman on my 50 plus person job site, I will be my own example of reducing the disparity between underrepresented backgrounds and STEM in higher education. This is a strong ending, but you can definitely cut down on this and the points will still stand. I would suggest maybe cutting this part because I think the following sentences are stronger. Additionally, when it comes to cutting down to 500 words, it's a lot easier if you just take out full sentences rather than trying to go back and cut out tiny little words here and there. Now let's look at the whole thing and see what the word count is. This is a preview if we accept all these edits. Go to the word count. 471. So it's under 500 words now by about 30 words. I definitely took out more than the person needs. So this person can now go back and then choose what they want to leave in and what they want to add back in. I highly recommend you phone a friend. This is the time when you need someone objective to help you with cutting away because we get personally, emotionally attached to every single word and we can't see for ourselves what is relevant and what is not. So when you have an outside person do that for you, it's so much easier. So definitely bring in some help when you get to this stage of your writing.